Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time. Either way, I'm super happy you're here. So we are going to do some fun Easter nails today. This is actually my second time doing this kind of set. I did change it up a little bit. I will um, insert a picture here in a moment of the first set and tell you a little bit more about that. But first we're gonna go in with this really pretty yellow. It's Peeps from Sundera. I highly doubt it's available because I bought this like a couple years ago from an Easter collection. And um, it's unlikely that they are still selling this particular dip, but it's just a pretty pastel yellow. Like any pretty pastel yellow would work for this look. Um, and then the other one that I'm using is a really pretty flaky from, um, I don't even know, Soliel Fox, I uh, sure I butchered that. And I don't even know if they are open anymore. I haven't seen them around. If either of these are available, they'll be linked. If not, um, I, I apologize. I have so many dips that are either A, not available or B, from closed companies. And I can't justify not using them. That just doesn't make sense to me. Like I have them, I'm going to use them. And I'm not very good at destashing and selling. Um, I probably should be good at that because I have so many, um, but I'm not. So anyway, back to, we're going to do some reverse stamping. So I originally did some reverse stamping, but I wanted to do it with the watercolors that I got in my, um, package from Timu. I had seen a video on it. It looked really good. I did it. The, here's the negative with doing it that way is you can't do the watercolors on the stamper so you have to stamp the image and then fill in the spots well when there's a lot of white detail or background details in this case i used a white stamp white stamping polish but you know you don't have to but when there's a lot of details and in this particular stamp i was using um there was a lot of details the watercolors go over those white details and they kind of ruin the image. Um, I also just, I don't know. I didn't like the way it turned out. Originally I was just like, okay, post it anyway, post the video anyway. Sometimes things flop and that's fine. And I don't have a problem with that. I, I've, trust me, I've shown plenty of manis and done plenty of videos where I wasn't hundred percent thrilled with the outcome, but people liked it or sometimes people didn't like it. it. I've never had, I mean, people are so nice. This nail community, I just love so much. No one ever has said anything rude to me except on one reel and it's whatever. Um, but I was just disappointed. I had a particularly Easter, particularly, particular Easter look I was going for. So it was my own disappointment because it didn't give me the Easter vibes I was going for. I mean, it did. But it was just, okay, I'm going to insert a pic now. There. So as you can see, it's just messy. I guess that's the best way to describe it. I mean, it had, it's, it wasn't ugly per se. It was just messy. <laughs> so yesterday at the last minute, I was like, you know what? I'm going to redo it. And I already had these tips ready to go. So instead of using the longer coffin, I decided to use my new absolute favorite tips. Oh, I love these so much. They're like the perfect shape, perfect length. Everything about them is so good. So I used these instead. Um, I kind of wish I didn't just because the image would have gone. It was longer and I did fill in the whole entire image. But at the end of the day, I still love the outcome. You will probably notice that at the end of the video, I don't have pictures like I usually do. I, I don't know how much anybody even cares about that or if people even watch to that point, but I haven't taken pictures yet because by the time I finished everything yesterday, I had a terrible headache. My dogs were hungry for dinner and I was like, oh, I'll just take pictures tomorrow. And then I realized literally later that evening that I wasn't going to have pictures in time to do, to upload the video because I have to go to my other trailer to do pictures. And I was like, you know what? Mm, I don't think it really matters. The man is here. The nails are on at the end of the video. You'll see what they look like on. So I, I don't know. The pictures will be posted on Instagram at some point later today. It is what it is, but that's where we're at. So, um, 
Oh, I love these flakies. Uh, so we're on the last nail. We're on the second layer. Of course, I did not turn my notifications off. So yeah, I'll be right back. Every time. <laughs> Every time I forget. I need to, I don't know. I don't think there's anything I can do. I think we're just going to have to deal with that. I could go back and edit it out, but I'm not going to. Um, so basically with these flakies that I've been laying, I, I don't do it like a chunky glitter. I lay down both layers um, and then I just press them flat. I should have my little finger do hickey, but it's put away and I was being lazy. So I just use my finger and then I take a buffing block and I buff out any of the glue that got stuck to my finger because yes, it did. But I shouldn't do that because you really shouldn't expose your skin regardless of whether it's gel or dip to chemicals. Um, that is how you get any kind of allergies or like skin irritations. And because I already have a gel allergy, it's just not the smartest way to go. So we're getting into the reverse stamping. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the two images that I'm going to do the reverse stamping on, and I'm going to set them aside. And then I'm going to, um, once, well, I let them sit for like a minute and then I will get into doing the reverse imaging. Um, I did speed it up just a little bit, not like anything crazy. Um, originally I was going to speed it up to like a three, which is like super speed and it just looks to me so wonky. Um, so I did slow it down and then I did cut bits and pieces out. So you'll see, like I'll be doing it. And then I forgot to, of course, I forgot to hit record when I started. I was like, so, oh, oh I'm, you know, doing so good. I'm staying in frame. Everything's great. And then I looked at my camera to make sure I was still in frame. And I was like, oh, you got to be kidding me. I forgot to hit record. So you do miss the like beginning of it, but that's okay. It's, I think it's okay anyway. If, if not, I'm really sorry about that. Um, so I'm just kind of randomly going in with these, like I do blue, I do purple, I do green and I do pink. Um, I was gonna, I had a yellow pulled out to do a yellow too, but the background of the nail that I'm stamping these on is yellow. So that didn't really make a lot of sense. Um, and I did fill the bunny ears in. No, I didn't because they're already filled in. Never mind. Ignore that. Um, that's on the next one. So I do try to kind of like work my way over through this pretty quickly. So you will see like I'm doing the first one. And then when I skip to the next image, it's like I already have a few green ones and then I all of a sudden I'm done with the green and then I do go back in with the purple at some point to kind of, cause I'm trying to fill in every single one. Um, I should have had like maybe a little bit more of a pattern to this, but I didn't, I did no pattern at all. Just kind of like filling it in wherever. Um, and some overlapped a little bit. The only one that you could really tell was the purple cause it was so much darker than the rest. Anyway, that's where we're at. So I'm going to let you guys watch me finish this one, which we're almost finished up with, and then we'll move on to the next one. And then I will talk you guys through the process of putting these on my nails. So I will be right back.
Okay, and we are done with that part. So that took a while. Obviously, I cut some bits and pieces out and sped it up, but it, it definitely is, um, it takes a little while. But it, the payoff, in my opinion, is so good. I, I really do love both of these. I do still wish I would have had a little bit more of a pattern to the first one. But you can use this, the Maniology sticky base coat and that's fine but when I'm doing a full cover image especially a reverse image one I really want a very very sticky um <laughs> wow surface I know what I'm saying so I use my crazy girls stips stuck um it's almost like a foil glue except it's better. I don't know. I love this stuff. I, if they're back, which last I checked to try to link their product, they were still on like a vacation timeout thingy. Um, so I'll try to link it. If not, then the other, um, product I really love is nails in a coffin. Nailed it. Um, she did just revamp it and I haven't, or it's a new liquid, so I haven't used her new one. So I guess I don't know if I can recommend that, but she says it's great. She likes it and it goes on white and turns clear, which is just like the crazy girls dip stuck. Anyway, so after I stamp both of my images, blah, 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 and I do the same thing to both. I just don't show both. I do go in with a foil glue um, that I got off Amazon. I will link that. And to me, it works better than smudge free top coat because a smudge free top coat to me is very finicky. It gets stringy, it's thicker, and it takes longer to dry. This stuff, you know when it's dry because it goes, it turns clear. And then I can go in with a, a nail polish top coat over it. I have tried going in with a, like a dip base coat over it and it doesn't work as good. Um, so, this is my preferred method. Once the nail polish top coat dries, then I am fine and safe to go in with my activator so I can top coat like I am here. I did speed this up. Um, it's, I swear it's only a two, but gosh, it looks like it's more than that. Um, just cause I do top coat in pretty much every video. <laughs> I was like, everyone knows what I do. I just figured I would slow it down. I'm not this fast. I wish I was, but I'm not. So two layers of activator sit for two minutes. I do set a timer. Um, and then I go in with my first coat, which or first layer of top coat, which is three quick swipes through as minimal as you can and as fast as you can. And I try to float the product over so that the brush is not actually touching the nail so that it doesn't harden, but I use odorless and they don't harden. So it's fine. But if you use regular, you want to be extra cautious because you really don't want to harden that brush. After the first layer, I wait one minute and then I am good to go in with my second layer and they turn out shiny and beautiful every time. So on the thumbnail, which I'm not even remotely to yet, um, the pink bunny, I did two layers of that. And so when I went to put it on my nail, I kind of smudged the bunny a little bit, which I'm pretty sure you can tell in the end of the video when the, my nails are on that it's a little smudged but yeah, it's like it's like there's a fingerprint on the bunny it just kind of actually gives the bunny some texture and makes it look like it's fur I didn't even think of that until just now huh that works anyway so now that these are done I have to go pop my other nails off pop them off yeah it, not as easy as it sounds but I got them off got my nails cleaned up my nails look like shit oh crap sorry oops all over again. Uh, well, actually my left hand looks decent. My right hand is horrible. Um, I've been working out different ways of the best way to apply the nails so they stay on for a couple days or longer if I need, but are not horrible to get off. And I clearly had a mishap um, on my right hand. So once I figure out the perfect formula for me, I will share a video showing you guys how I do all that. But not until then and not until my nails are a little bit healthier because like I said, my left hand's not looking so bad, but my right hand, there is a lot of splitting and peeling and overall they do not look good. So um, yeah, 
I do have peel base on both hands right now. And at this point they have lasted 24 hours. Well, not quite 24 hours. They have lasted, I think I put them on around three o'clock yesterday and it is 9.18 in the morning and they are still on and they are still sturdy and they feel good. Anyway, we're done and I need to say goodbye or I'm gonna get cut off. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.